Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob with Diligent Dev, and today we're going to be going over address autocomplete with Agolia Places. Now, Agolia is mainly known for their searching products, uh, but today we're going to use their address autocomplete. So go ahead and head to algolia.com, create an account, and then once you've created your account, go to your dashboard. Once inside your dashboard, you'll see API keys over here. We'll click on that. You'll see you have an application ID and a search only API key. Now copy those and put them in a loca some location on your computer or we'll revisit this page later as we'll need them for our demo. So what I'm gonna do is open up Visual Studio Code. It's the code editor I'm going to be using. And we're just gonna open a new terminal. And I'm gonna head to my documents. And I'm gonna make a directory called Algolia, oh, Algolia address autocomplete. And now that we're in here, I'm just going to open this up. All right. Okay, so we're working with just a blank directory right now. We're going to add two files to it. The first will be the index.html. And in here, I'll just hit HTML, go down to HTML5 and enter, and it'll fill it in for me. And then I'm just going to create another file and just call it index.js. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is add a couple dependencies here. The first one we're going to add is Bootstrap. So I've gone and grabbed a Bootstrap CDN link, and I'm going to copy that, and I'll put a link to this in the description. And right above the title in the head, we're just going to say link, go down, select CSS, and we're just going to paste that CDN link in there. All right, the next thing we're going to do is add a couple scripts. The first script we're going to need to grab is the CDN for Agolia Places, and I will put a link to this in the description. So right in our body, right before the closing tag, we'll put script with a source and we'll copy that in. And then we're also going to add our index.js file. All right, now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and set up our form that we're gonna be using for address. So I'll say form, we'll get rid of the action. And then inside of the form, we're gonna do a field set And we'll give this a class of container. And we'll give it a margin top of four. That's a bootstrap class. And then we'll give it a legend. And we'll just say Algolia address autocomplete. And then we're going to have a div of with a class of row, and inside of that div, we'll have another div with a dash class of col md 6. And inside of here, we'll have a label. We'll say this one's for address. We'll put street address as the label. And then we will have an input. Type will be text and we'll give it a class of form control and an ID of address. All right, since we're gonna need three more of the exact same style of text box, what I'm gonna do is just copy this and paste it three times. And in here, we're gonna do a city. So we'll say this is this label is for city. And then we will also give it an ID of city. And then for this one, we'll do state. We will give it a four of state and an ID of state as well. And then we'll do postal code here. And we will give it an ID of postal code down here and change the label to say postal code. 
All right, so now we have our form set up. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. And I have a extension in VS Code. I will leave a link to it. It's called Live Server. And what you do once you install it is you right click on here and you say open with Live Server. And you'll see it's starting a development server. And this is our form right now. So now that we have our form all set up, let me adjust the, my window sizes here. All right, so now that we have that all set up, what we're gonna do is we're going to write a JavaScript function inside of our index.js. So we'll wrap this because we're gonna fire it instantly. So we'll say function, we'll say var places autocomplete equal to places and we'll put a config in here. So we have our app ID we're gonna need. So I'll head back over to my API keys. I'll grab the application ID, put it in there. We're also gonna need our API key. So I'll head back over here. We'll grab this search API key and copy it and paste it there. Yep, get a comma there. We'll grab, grab our container that we're gonna be using for this. So we'll say document query selector and we'll just grab it by an ID of address. Templates and we'll say the value equals a new function. We'll pass in the suggestion. And then we'll return the suggestion dot name. All right, so after our template, we'll say configure. And this takes some more properties. And we'll say type is address and close that. And now we're going to say places autocomplete dot on the change. We're going to fire a function result selected and pass the event. And then we're gonna say documents dot query selector. And we're gonna grab the state text box. So this is when they select from the drop down of autocomplete results. And we'll select set the value to our events dot suggestion dot administrative. or else we're gonna select it to a blank string. And then we'll do the same thing for the city. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this line. And we need to do this in three places. So we have the city and we also have the postal code. And what we're gonna do is set the suggestion to the city and the postal code. All right, so let's recap what we've done here. Oh, there we go. We've set up our function to auto fire as soon as the, well, we haven't set it up to auto fire. Now we have, we set it to auto fire as soon as the page is loaded. It's going to set up our places, um, set that equal to the address. So the place is going to show whenever they type into the address field. Um, then we return the suggestion dot name, which is going to show up in the address field and we configure it to a type of address. And then if once we select one of those out of that list, what we'll do is we'll set everything else and I'll show you that here in a second. So what we'll do is we'll save everything and we'll go back and you'll see now we have this little icon here, a uh, map pin icon. And if we start typing in here, you'll see 
that we start to get results. And if we select one of these, you'll see that it starts to show up and we must have, I must have messed something up. Let's see what we got here. So ID of postal code, postal code. Let's see here. Ah, and their documentations, it's post code, not postal code. All right, so let's try this again. See, now if we select this, it fills in the street address, the city, the state, and the postal code, which is fantastic for our users of our site because not only is this now easy, easier to fill out, but it's also more accurate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below the video, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.